Hello everyone, welcome to this quick tutorial. Today, we'll learn how to import an OBJ file along with its MTL file into 3ds Max. These files often come together. They allow your 3D model to have the correct textures and materials. Let's get started. First, open 3ds Max. Go to the file menu at the top left. Select import and then import again from the drop-down. A window will pop up. Navigate to the location where you saved your OBJ and MTL files. Select the OBJ file. Click open. The OBJ import options window will appear. This is where you control how the OBJ file is imported. Several options are available. For basic imports, the default settings are usually fine. You can choose how to group the objects. As single object is useful if you want the entire model to be treated as one piece. As multiple objects will import each part of the model separately. This is helpful for editing individual parts. Another important setting is the Material Definition section. Ensure that Import Materials checkbox is ticked. This tells 3ds Max to look for the MTL file associated with the OBJ. The MTL file contains the material definitions. Make sure that the MTL file is in the same directory as the OBJ file. If it's not, 3ds Max won't be able to find it. If you want to change the scaling of the model, you can adjust the scaling factor. This is useful if the model appears too big or too small. Leave it at 1.0 for the default size. Click Import to begin the import process. 3ds Max will now import the OBJ file. It will also apply the materials defined in the MTL file. Sometimes, the textures might not appear correctly right away. This could be because the texture paths are incorrect. To fix this, open the Material Editor. You can usually access it by pressing the M key. Select the material in the Material Editor. Check the texture map slots. Make sure the file paths point to the correct location of your texture files. If the paths are wrong, update them to the correct location. You can do this by browsing to the correct folder. Once the paths are correct, the textures should appear correctly on your model. Sometimes, the material might need further adjustments. You can adjust parameters like glossiness, reflectivity, and bump mapping. This allows you to fine-tune the appearance of your model. Experiment with these settings to achieve the desired look. The process of importing OBJ and MTL files can vary. This depends on the complexity of the model and the setup of the files. This basic guide should help you get started. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Consider supporting the channel through Patreon or buying our assets. Your support allows us to create more content like this. Let us know in the comments what other tutorials you'd like to see.